Howdy y'all. Welcome to Pop Grizz Kitchen. Uh, hey, how you like my apron by the way? I forgot I had this. This was made many moons ago. And it says Grandpa Grizz right here. And if you can see that, got my grandkids handprints on there. Well, there's a few missing. Uh, I got CJ, I got Tiffany, I got Jacob over here. <laughs> Jacob, oh, he's a young man right now. He's 16, going on 17, going on 30. I need Haley's down here. And then my son Bob, he's got another one coming on the way. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I'll let you know. Anyhow, welcome to my kitchen. <clears throat> and we're going to do something different today. Uh, I know everybody's busy, you know, especially during the holidays, but you still want to cook a good meal for your family. And you just don't have the time. Well, that's why God made slow cookers. And we're going to cook some uh, smoked sausage, some cabbage, and put all kinds of good stuff in there. If you just bear with me, uh, we're going to make a meal. And you don't have to fuss over it, okay? See you in a bit. Okay, one of the ingredients are smoked sausage. We're just going to chop some of that up. You cut it in any kind of slice that you want. Here's how I like to chop it up. What I use here is about a pound and a half. I also chopped up some cabbage. I used the whole head. Use what you want. I like cabbage. Makes my wife fart and old, but don't tell her. Then, I also chopped up some bacon. Okay, another part of the ingredients, spuds. I use red spuds. You use whatever, any kind of potato you, you want. It, it doesn't matter. I chopped them up like this. If you want to skin them, go ahead and skin them. It don't matter. Do whatever you want. I like the skins on. It doesn't matter whether they're russet, red taters, new taters. I like the skins on. That's where all the nutrition is, right there in them skins. Anyhow, that's another part of it. And we'll keep going. Alright, one of the first things I do is take that cut up bacon, throw it in the skillet, and commence to fry it. Okay, got the bacon nice and crisp. What we're going to do with it is put it on the plate with a paper towel, and save the grease in there, and I'll show you what to do. The next frame, okay? Oh my darling, go and stay if you want it. Hey, that bacon operator. You got the sausage ready to go? <laughs> Wanna add some onion? And some green peppers? Let's jump off these green peppers. And like I always say, if you've been here before, so I'm just cutting my finger off. Yeah. I'm not used to this knife, it's a new one. some stuff. I'm going to put the uh, sausage, the peppers, and the onion. <clears throat> right into that bacon grease. It'll give it some flavor. Yeah, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I mean, it's up to you. I like it. Okay, we got this in here for about, oh, a minute and a half, two minutes. Just to soften it up, brown it up a little bit. <clears throat> you don't want to fully cook it because this sucker is going in the crock pot, that slow cooker. 
Alright. Okay, we're ready to put this all together. Here's the crock pot thingy. And if you don't have one that comes out of the deal, well, don't worry about it. Basic recipe is let's throw in a cabbage. Uh, it's going to be a little full, but it all cooks down. Now, on top of that, we're going to put our mixture that we fried up, well, sort of, smoked sausage, onions, and peppers. Okay. Now we're going to add some taters to it. Oh, it, I know most of y'all know this, but we chopped this up ahead of time. And you know, if you just chop them up and put them on a bowl or anything without cold water, they turn nasty looking, like brown stuff. So we put this in cold water, and we're going to drain that off and, and put them in here. Okay, got the taters drained off. We're going to throw them in there and kind of mix everything together. Get back in there. You ain't going nowhere except in my belly. Alright, now we got all that in there. We're going to throw in uh, about a quarter ounce. You get this at the store. Chopped chilies. And we're going to use, oh, about a half a teaspoon of thyme. Then we're going to throw in about a half a teaspoon of basil leaves. If I get the sucker open. There ain't a colonel in Kentucky, and Oregon is running out of wood. And you know, it's Bobo. I'm going to throw in some stuff. You know, just for grins. Not a whole lot. About that much. You get that off the cornbread recipe, okay? Okay, last but not least, we're gonna put in some chicken broth. Now you can make this, make the chicken stock your own, do whatever you want. I kinda like buying this stuff. And I'm using, uh, oh, about 32 ounces of it. It's taking a sweet time. But you know what you do? Make something come here. Damn! There it is. Well, that's a lot of food. You know, cover it up. And set it on high heat. Make sure Plug the crop pot into the wall or the slow cooker, whatever you have. If not, <laughs> it's going to take more than 12 hours to cook this sucker, I guarantee it. Okay, we're cooking now. Okay, there we have it. Cooking for four or five hours now. 